thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Isabella Jane and this is my best buddy. I am Rosie and you are watching Didal Stories. Yes, and you have caught us in the middle of a really cool series, the You and Me series. I thought it was the You and Me series. It is the You and Me series. You and me. You and me. You and me. Oh, you and me? Yes, because we're friends. Yeah, Rosie, we are friends. But you see, the world is opening up, so we're going to see more people than just each other. Well, well, yeah, that you and I are the bestest friends. We're a good example of what friends should be like, aren't we? I think we are. But I think there's an even better example. What could be a better example? Well, we can look in the Bible. Okay, so, so, so what's our story about today? This is Bible Stories. It is Bible Stories. And today we are looking at two very, very good friends. They're known as Jonathan and David. Jonathan and David. Oh, that's exciting. So, let's tell the story. How does it go? Well, there was a king. And this king was, you know, he was a pretty cool king and he had a son and the son's name was Jonathan. But sometimes this king got a little bit sad or upset and he wasn't feeling too great. You know, as we all do. Yeah, as we all do. And he thought, you know what would make me feel a whole lot better? What? Singing and someone playing the harp. That's very specific. Yeah, but th there happened to be a guy who could sing and play the harp. Was it David? It was David. So he ended up working for this king. He was a really cool guy. And him and Jonathan actually became really good friends. Oh, this is such a cool story. So what happened next? Well, David was very, very well liked by everyone around him. I mean, including Jonathan, who was his very good friend. But this made the king have a jealous eye. What does a jealous eye mean? Well, it means when you look at someone and you're jealous. Uh, you look at them with your eyes. So your eyes are jealous. Yes, so you have a jealous eye. Jealous eye. Yes. So you're just jealous. Okay, well, basically, but it's a cool way of saying, you know, you had a jealous eye. Okay, yeah. And he started to hate. He started to resent David. And this, as you can imagine, would have made Jonathan quite sad because this is his best friend. Yeah, I would have been very sad too. <laughs> so, so, I mean, of course they would have just talked it out and everything would have been okay. Well, no. You see, the king threw a spear at David. What? David was fine. Good. That what? Yeah. And Jonathan thought, well, let me, let me go and talk to my dad and say that wasn't okay. Well, well that wasn't okay. E exactly. So he spoke to his dad and his dad was, oh, I'm so sorry, I'll change and it's, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry. Oh, what a nice story. That's not where it ends. Oh, no. The king threw another spear at David. What is wrong with this guy? He was very jealous. He had a jealous eye. Yeah, yeah, that is hectic. So what at the next? Well, Jonathan, you know, went and spoke to his dad again and his dad ended up throwing a spear at his own son. Sure. Okay. All, all right. That's fine. <laughs> and, and Jonathan basically told David that, that he has to go. That he has to get away because his dad isn't going to change and David is actually in very big danger. Oh, well. Well, this is sad because they were such good friends and now they're not going to see each other again. Well, unfortunately, Rosie, that is how the story ends. Huh? They didn't see each other again. Oh. But it is actually a really good story. Why? Well, we are given a beautiful picture of what friendship is of what friendship should be, how much we should love those around us, that we're willing to say go and willing to never see them again so that they can be safe. Well, that's like sacrificial love. It is sacrificial love. And who is the best picture in the Bible and in our lives of sacrificial love? Jesus. Yeah. And surely, if David had such a great friend in Jonathan, we can have an even better friend in Jesus. 
Jesus, you're my superhero, you're my star, my best friend. Jesus, you're my superhero, you're my star, my best friend. This is such a cool song. Jesus, you're my superhero, you're my star, my best friend. Jesus, you're my An amazing week. I'm Rosie and I'm Isabella James. See you next time.